the person actually thought that leaving you will be a very easy thing you don't matter in their world and if they leave you they will not be regretting at all and they can replace you by somebody else very quickly or they just don't need your energy all right um whatever you have been doing make no sense in their life you have no importance you are just a nothing you know they will be able to replace you very easily because that's what their ego and pride were telling them probably this is the situation i'm sensing with the person that i'm picking up on and um, i have done another reading on this series like they were also giving you silent treatment i will be posting those videos um like depending on when i feel drawn to those videos but i'm feeling like this person were thinking like this is gonna be nothing i mean i can let them go by it's not gonna impact me at all but now when they pushed you away i think this is not the first time they are doing it they have done it many times but this time probably you have you are completely broken and you are completely smashed to the core and you are sensing that no okay this person doesn't need me anymore so it's better for me to move on and i have to remove myself even though you are feeling strongly connected every moment you are crying and every moment you are going through a um, mental turbulence but you decided that no this is the time that they have pushed me out and i i'm not going to go back to them so under the situation when you started healing yourself when you started finishing your crying and everything now you are healing and you are moving to the light this person is now in the beginning when you are crying they were doing all good they didn't it didn't impact them at all they didn't even remember you they were totally enjoying their love with life with their friends or the new people they entered their life they were talking to somebody else or might be the third party they left you for whoever it was they were very busy and happy with the in their own world with them they were not even thinking about you now this person now when you started moving on and you started pulling your energy because you know deep inside this person actually had a deep belief that you're not gonna move you're not gonna go away you will never leave them you probably would not have done it but now this time probably somehow you can like you know understood that this person doesn't need me anymore and i'm staying here is just like a doormat so that's i have no value in their life so you walked away now this is the reason i keep on telling my uh in my private consultations that um see if somebody tells you that i don't need you there is no point of going back and begging from there or bragging their attention because if they're clearly telling you i don't need you it means they don't need you there is nothing in between okay so if they're telling you i don't need you in my life anymore you need to walk away from the situation now this person decided to let you go now you walk doesn't matter what they want to what they say now you walk away and work your healing and be the better version of you a relation teaches us a lot of things like a relation teaches us like what are our drawbacks what are the insecurities and all those things you work on that and be a better version of you now if that person in later on decides and thinks that they made a mistake they probably made a like a hasty decision or an impulsive decision they might come back towards you let them decide that and if they come back to you after you heal your insecurities and your traumas whatever you had it's your time you will get an option to decide whether you want this person or not all right you might not you might that's a different story but now when a person told you that i don't need you in my life get lost from my life it's important that you don't go back and beg beg again and again i'm i tell that in my private consultation now i just want to make a video on that like i probably will make a video but this is a reading where i'm to do that um but this is i will make a separate video I got a call and I'm telling you, you're going to receive a communication from your person very, very soon. This person is actually now wants to, is thinking about communicating with you, uh, communicating. All right. So let me see um, whatever I told you, if that is your situation, let me see what is this person is going to do. Let me see if my cards are showing me that you're going to receive a communication or from this person or not. All right. So let me see. Two, three, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 11, 11, 12, 21 can be the numbers significant for you all right and also showing me a blue card um also uh i told you they want to communicate the first card i pulled up anyways uh what i was saying i was seeing acorns i was seeing pine cones so i don't know how and they're relevant for you but this can be the signs or a cycle bicycle okay the sun right, let me see what else comes up here tower i'll take five cards okay justice and the last one the wheel of fortune so the relationship actually ended like 
suddenly suddenly there was nothing pre-planned it's not like you had a bad fight or something for a long time it was like something out of nowhere this relationship ended and it looks like this person took an impulsive decision you might be dealing with somebody who is very impulsive and egoistic and they just suddenly say something they don't really mean it they might be saying that i don't want to be with you at, at the tower it everything fell apart but i'm feeling like this person didn't really mean that they just actually were saying or the angrily probably they have done it before also um they just thought that uh, I just said that, but he, he, they had an overconfidence that you will come back to them. But I don't know, whatever is the reason, it did strike you badly and you just decided, no, this person doesn't want me anymore. So this is for my time to walk away, all right? So this is what ex exactly happened in the situation, all right? Now, what I'm sensing here, um, this sun card is telling me, uh, how many are here? I was supposed to take five. All right, the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Sun card is telling me that this person sees you as a very, like a light of, ray of light in their life, okay? They might go through a lot of darkness about themselves, like, you know, in their life. There are a lot of things which are not good, but you are the ray of hope. You boost, like, bring the happiness. Sun is, sun is life. You bring the happiness in their life. You make their life bright. All right. And also underneath there is a baby, naked baby. I can't show you. So it's like they feel like a child around you. You treat them as a child. It's like a child is here. I can't show you because of that. So, um, yeah, you treat them as a child. You This person can be themselves around you. They don't have to think or being something else, wearing a false mask. They might be wearing a false mask around other people. But around when they come towards you, it's like a, like a naked part of them. They can be open up like whatever they are. They know that you will never judge them and you love them for whatever, whoever they are. Okay, that confidence this person has and the judgmental world <clears throat> where everybody judges each other. So this person is, you are the only person where they can be around. So now they understood that they have done injustice to you or the whole relationship. This was not, justice was not served. And under the situation, this person is now going through a big, uh, you know, karmic cycle. I think there's a lot of karma being served on their way. Um, and also I would say there is a change going on in their reality. This person might be going through a real uh, painful moment. All right. Major arcana cards here, like a five or four of them are major arcana. So it's a major change in this person's life as well as in your relationship. I would say this person had a wake up call. Like the way they treated you, it's not right. They didn't understand your value or the value of the relationship in their life now it's the time when they're waking up with this one the wheel of fortune talks about changing the future and luck in your favor so it looks like things gonna change and, and this person is gonna bring the balance to you to the relationship all right you might be dealing with leo you might be dealing with libra uh, fire sign air sign also art sign so now this person wants to come towards you with a message now with this page card I would say in some tarot decks this card is defined as a star card I have a different deck where this card page of pentacle is marched with star card so that is coming in my mind right now so obviously as you know as tarot reader tarot cards are not everything it's also the intuition and the downloads the cards of the tarot reader getting so i'm getting this that feel is of feeling of march of star and this card so i'm telling you <clears throat> what message i'm getting this person might be coming back to you with a small gesture they can't give you a commitment solid commitment right now like a big message don't expect any apology or anything but this person wants to communicate with you to see whether you still love them whether they still care about them whether you still think about them or you moved on okay this is what they want to know probably that's the only reason they want to check with you and um this is uh, this is you know sometimes we make mistakes and we definitely regret in the later stage but this is what this person is going through the karma being served around them and they're feeling like this is something not right, all right? And also, I think this person, with the star thing I'm, sense, I'm sensing here, with the marge of the star card here, I'm sensing that this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. And also, you also think, you might be thinking like, this is something I ever wanted in my life. This is my fortune. This is my luck. And they see you as the same way too. Um, so I see that there's a lot of love and a lot of you know, strong feelings in this connection. A certain momentary, um, you know, whatever impulsive situation might have taken this relationship from each other. But I'm sensing that it's a, it's a it's the star that is coming in my mind again and again. So I would say healing is going on in this relationship and you will be coming back together soon. All right. Let's pray to the divine and I send you love and light so that anybody who is going through this situation, your heart gets peace and light. All the darkness you're facing through may God Bless you with light and, um, you know, happiness and love. Okay? You take care. Love you.